Uh, this is a little message from Michelle, and she says, the subject is talking to the sun and the wind. Okay, I've been listening to you about the solar sneeze, and I use that term because it's funny and we need to balance the crap we hear on the fake media. Yeah, very good. Do you talk to the sun and the wind and the elements like you would talk if you were training a young child or pet notice when they do well and praise and appreciate like crazy and also be in good vibration and resonance uh yeah sort of um i don't know that i would say it's like training a young child or a pet it's really like trying to make a friend out of a next door neighbor and and so you have to you know you have to reach out you have to say hello um you have to send a a signature I, there are signatures that individuals have um with sun or wind or rain or whatever um and so for me the sun is a little kiss and this kiss is in the form of a, a little heart with wings. And, and so I, I say to the sun, good morning. And I blow that kiss toward the sun. And at the same time, I envision this little heart with wings flying right to the sun, landing on the surface of the sun, and then, you know, kissing all over and saying, hi, how are you today? It's me. I'm down here in Southwest Michigan or wherever I happen to be. Um, you know, what's new with you? Anything? And then I listen. Um, what are you doing today? And then I listen. Is there going to be any kind of ruckus? Meaning sunspots? And then I watch. And, and so once in a while I get silly. You know, and I'll say to the sun, you want to go dancing? You know, um, let's dance. And, you know, that kind of thing. And, and so I imagine us dancing, um, yeah, different pieces of music, whatever. Sometimes something comes on the radio and I'm like, oh, come on, sun, let's dance. Um, or I'm just, I'm in a hurry. I'm going out to get in my truck. You know, I see the sun shine out there. It's like, hi, how are you? I'm in a hurry. I can't stop to talk today, but I love you. Those kinds of things. Um, in terms of the, the wind, there's a picture that forms. And until that picture forms and stabilizes, I have not connected. And the picture is of a cloud blowing, you know, blowing at, blowing at the earth. Um, the rain um, is a raindrop until that raindrop forms and stabilizes and has a face on it I have not made a successful connection snowflakes same thing so there's um, you know with soil um, there's soils it depends on what part of the soil you're addressing is it the actual life in the soil which is all kinds of microorganisms uh, is it the bugs and the beetles is it the pebbles is it the minerals what is it um so you just you know you create a a visual that stands for or that indicates to you this is my visual that i want to see when you have heard me when you are listening to me or when we are actually in communication and that's it and then you just have a normal relationship and a lot of times there's no point to it other than to communicate love other than to further the relationship when you know that goes on all year round so come summertime june and now we're getting into the tornado and storm season. Actually starts in May. That's when I really need 
that I, I need that relationship to be functional. And that's when I will, if I know a storm is coming and it's ferocious, um, that's when I contact the wind and say, hey, could you just be really, really gentle with my trees and my roof and my plants and my flowers? And same with the rain. And I'll get some kind of signal that says, okay. So um, it's that kind of thing. If I'm driving down the road in October and November and December and it's hunting season and deer are moving all over the place, then I'm communicating with the deer. Hey, I need you to stay off the road while I'm on this road. Um, stay, stay safe. Stay back in the fields. And then I envision this long tunnel. If there's something in it, I send out another message and say, you who? Um, you're in my tunnel. You're in my path. Um, and when that when that tunnel is empty, then I feel safe to drive. So, and I think driving is a terrible destruction of animals, birds, bugs, animals, possums, coyotes, uh, deer, fox. Oh my gosh, cats, dogs, you name it. Um, I look forward to the day when we have some other kind of transportation that is not so destructive to Mother Nature. So that's it. Just start anywhere and keep that relationship going.